What'd you say? I said I like that angle. Stop being perverse. All right, here Stop we go. You just like okay, the angle? All right. This is serious business Retail about a Mustang. Tony, um... Restoration. Actually, I usually, I usually don't mix humor with bad news, but... I guess it's just one of those days. But we found a, an issue with your radiator. Um, motor's looking beautiful. Runs like a top, too. Runs like a top. And I'll tell you, I, when I decided to work on 50-year-old cars, I had no idea that they're just... They're just breaking down all the time, guys. It's like working on 90-year-old people. Yes. Um... So what we did was discovery. When I hear discovery on a 50-year-old car, it's usually not good news. It's not horrible news. Well, sometimes, sometimes it can be good news. Yeah, this isn't horrible news, but this is news. We discovered a pinhole uh, leak in your radiator. What's the condition, overall condition of the radiator? It wasn't too bad otherwise. Hang on, let me, let me look like I'm average height. What? You mean make me look taller? Okay, anyway. The radiator itself wasn't in bad shape. It ran cool. I mean, I don't know why I can't show it. You guys have been driving it for over a week now, maybe two weeks. Alex and I were moving the car this morning to swap spots. And he goes, looks like it's leaking coolant. So if we look down here. Hey, I'm going to flip the camera around right now. Flip the camera. All right, so that's, it, that's antifreeze. Alex is like, and where is it so coming from? Can you see you it? You can actually see it because there was there is still Hang on, a trail. I'm gonna go light. Hang on oh, a second. Well, go you ahead. can see an actual trail here. Well, it's right there. And see where it's, the paint is all gone. Did somebody it's try to seal that before? What is that yellow stuff? Is that just? No, oh, that's just the copper. It's just the copper, the copper oh, brass of the radio. Off. That's the paint coming off. It's looks actually like coming. Did do some kind of patch job up there? Yes. It's, there was... This is where the seam is. You can see. And it's leaking from underneath. Right at the seam on the tank. Rudy! 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 Oh, I was gonna hook a These pen metal in. guys, all they do is they wear the earbuds and they're in the zone. Rock and roll! Oh, yeah, when they're grinding. So they can't hear us. But he just heard us, so he turned off the, off the, the thing. They're metal with the metal. We just need 30 seconds, Rudy. Oh, he's giving us 30 seconds. All right. We're on the clock. We're on the clock. Um, so basically, you've got a pinhole recommendation. Replace the radiator. It's, it's not, not worth fixing. Radiator. It's not a new radiator. It's not an original it's radiator. It's not anything. So we're going to we're gonna tell you to watch this video, and then you're going to call us, and you'll most likely say fix the radiator because it's broken. Also, moving to the side here. Oh, let's, let's do a quick update on putting in your rubber. See, we move right on your cars. When they get in here, we get working boom, on boom, them boom, boom, right boom, away. Chop. Come along. Yeah, Scott, showing that Sky Sweetman is an all-around guy. He doesn't only do metal. He also does rubber. And that's what your rubber is going on your doors right now and getting reattached. And it's going to be a nice little firm door, uh, nicely sealed, and you won't have any movement on your door anymore. So we're Fantastic. very happy with that. So um, we're also going to move on Monday on uh, transmission adjustments. And the shift bushings. And the shift bushings, and then we, that's, and we're gonna contact you right away, so if get that radiator on the move so you can get your car back. When does he plan on picking up his car? They're not gonna be back till mid-June, but we can drop the car. We can drop the car, but we're gonna get the radiator out and uh, out to you, S and out to you, but uh, your rubber's going in, and uh, good news is we found this now, so you don't have to have it uh, blowing out out of your radiator sometime uh, during the summer, during the hot days of summer that are coming. And look how pretty that engine looks, eh? Look how pretty that motor looks. I am so glad that this motor is behind us. It was really one of the most dramatic must um, um, episodes oh. that we've ever had. And there's only we one piece of frustration out of the rest now, of the And the fortunate thing is, is it doesn't involve your motor. It involves my 429, guys. I am still looking for main the cap. main caps, main caps for a 429 Cobra Jet we need them. We need main caps to get four that motor bolt. done. Four bolt. They're four the bolt main caps. Mustang Medic Alert. Get I haven't done. Dolphin. I'm doing the bubbles, guys. I haven't done the bubbles in a long time. That's how serious I am. right there. I don't know. Mustang Medic Alert. Help us find it. That 71 still has to be sprung to life, and it's going to happen because we have to do it. We're saving the world one Mustang at a time. Right, Carlos? Yep.